Welcome back, crew, to Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet, Miami, Florida, and our Midnight Express is off to a really rough start. It is absolutely firing down here at Hallover today. The winds are howling in the background, the waves are breaking offshore, and it's going to be a rough day for most of these captains as they try and make their way out. Definitely going to need some experience to make it out safely today. But our crew here is taking that slow roll approach, which I know seems like the correct logical approach. It's rough out. You want to take it slow and easy, but you've got to be moving fast enough to get the bow up in the air, especially on these midnights because they love to stuff if you're not paying attention and our captain here is just moving a little too slow for the conditions and unfortunately the crew winds up stuffing the bow multiple times they wind up having the dogs bark even at an idol which is a pretty rare scene and i'm gonna have to give the wind a haul over on this one and they get a good stuffing right here to close it out hopefully our captain in the second round can have a little better luck but when you have a pontoon coming in in the second round, you never know how that one's gonna fare. So our crew's up on plane, trying to work their way into haul over. Everything looks just fine. But as you already know, when you've got a following sea and you're working your way in and gonna have to deal with some of the bigger wake that we see coming through haul over, you never know how that one's gonna turn out. And our crew winds up stuffing it with the pontoon. And this is where haul over can be deceiving. You never know how things are gonna turn out. Even if it's a nice calm day at haul over, there's so many boats, so many yachts coming through that if you're in a smaller vessel or a vessel that is not prepared to handle bigger waves, you can find yourself in trouble pretty quickly. Fortunately, this crew is able to keep on the throttle and keep the boat moving and recover, but the damage has been done and the boats will take a loss here in the second round as well. And the boats are down two to nothing early as we move into the third round of our competition. The boats have to make a comeback here. If not, it could be all over in the third round. And we've got a cigarette stepping in the ring to try and do battle with Hallover. But again, another rough day down here at the inlet. Caps laying into the throttles to try and get this thing going. He looks like he's going to try and send it straight out, but he's going to hit some of these rollers, and let's see how they fare as they keep going. Captain's got the boat up on plane. He's going to try and use the throttle to his advantage, but we're getting out into the big rollers, and man, they smack down hard. And Cap's going to have to back off the throttle a little bit here as things get a little wild at the end of this ride. I mean, you've got to respect Hallover when it's firing. you got to know when to lay into those throttles. Now, I do respect Cap for trying to send it out, but on a day like today, you've just got to be a little more cautious than that. The crew's definitely going to remember that ride. Hallover said, no, you can't full send it. You're going to have to back off. And unfortunately for that, because Hallover dictated their speed, I'm going to go ahead and give the wind to Hallover in this one. Here we can see they looked pretty good until about this point. Once they got here, start hitting these big rollers, Hallover just winds up rocking them. And again, Hallover takes the win. That means Hallover's going to take the win in this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlets. My channel, Broncos Guru, does some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens at the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.